in this video we are looking at the top five zero turn mowers on the market for right around five thousand dollars we include the prices in this video however prices may vary depending on when you are purchasing your mower and the dealer you are purchasing through if you like this video be sure to mash that like button and subscribe to the tractor bob's youtube channel we will start at the number 5 spot with the Hustler Raptor XD. The Raptor XD is a residential zero turn mower available in a 42 inch, 48 inch, 54 inch, and 60 inch cut option. The max forward speed of the Raptor XD is 7.5 miles per hour. The fuel tank has a 3 gallon capacity. Like several other mowers in this comparison, the Raptor XD uses Hydrogear ZT2800 transaxles, which are serviceable. Hustler provides a 3-year, three 300-hour three warranty for residential use, and the engine has a 3-year manufacturer's warranty from Kawasaki. The mowing deck is a fabricated 11-gauge steel construction, which is much better than a stamped cutting deck, but is still on the lighter side. The deck height adjustment uses a foot pedal and pin style system with adjustment from 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches. We really like the large front caster wheels on the Raptor XD. They measure 6.5 inches wide with a 13 inch diameter and the rear wheels have been upgraded to a more aggressive 12 inch by 20 inch big bite tread pattern over the standard turf tread. You get plenty of storage space on this mower with a cup holder and a large cubby on each side. The seat does have armrests. Overall the Raptor XD looks like a pretty well built mower in this price range. Next, we move on to the number 4 spot with the Gravely ZT XL. The ZT XL is a residential zero turn mower available in a 42 inch, 48 inch, 52 inch, and 60 inch cutting deck. The max forward speed of the ZT XL is 7.5 miles per hour. The fuel tank has a 2.5 gallon capacity, the smallest capacity of the mowers in this video. The ZT XL also uses Hydrogear ZT2800 transaxles. Gravely produces a 4 year, 400 hour warranty for residential use, and the engine has a 3 year manufacturer's warranty from Kawasaki, making it the best warranty available of the 5 mowers in this video. Like the Hustler, the Gravely ZT XL has an 11 gauge fabricated steel mowing deck, which is on the lighter side, although it seems to have had a 10 gauge steel construction for last year's model, so that's a pretty big downgrade. The deck height adjustment is a pedal and dial system, which we like, and you have a cut height variability from 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches. The high back seat with armrests is a real winner for this mower. It's comfortable and sized to fit most people with slight adjustment. The ZT XL also seems to come with a six bulb LED bar mounted to the front of the mower, which is a great bonus accessory. You do get a cup holder and small cubby on the left side by the fuel tank, but the way the plastic clips in in this area seems pretty flimsy and you don't get a lot of storage space. Continuing on along to the number 3 spot, we have the John Deere Z-Track Z530M. The Z530M is a residential zero turn mower available in a 48 inch, 54 inch, and 60 inch cutting deck. The max forward speed of the Z530M is 8 miles per hour, the fastest of the lineup so far. It is the only one of our 5 for $5,000 that come with a rollover protection system otherwise known as a ROPS bar. It's a more commercially oriented safety feature. The fuel tank has a good 4.5 gallon capacity, one of the larger fuel tank capacities of the mowers in this video. The Z530M uses Kanzaki made Tough Torque TZ T7-D transaxles which is a mouthful but do not have replaceable oil filters. John Deere provides a 4 year, 300 hour warranty for residential use, and the engine has a 3 year manufacturer's warranty from Kawasaki, making it one of the better warranties here. The Z530M, like most John Deere mowers, has a stamped mowing deck, which is absolutely terrible. 
the deck height adjustment is a pedal and pin style system. It's okay, but the deck is not our favorite thing about the Z530M. There are some big things we really do like about this mower. It has a very comfortable high back seat with armrests and slide adjustment. The front caster wheels are 6.5 inches wide by 13 inch diameter and has an electric fuel gauge. Along with the large storage cubbies, it comes with a tracking adjustment wrench and deck leveling gauge. This mower is pretty good, but we aren't done yet. Time for the last two breakdowns. Coming in at number two, we have the Bad Boy ZT Avenger. The ZT Avenger is a residential zero turn mower available in a 54 inch and 60 inch cutting deck. The max forward speed of the ZT Avenger is seven miles per hour. The fuel tank has a 6.5 gallon capacity, the largest fuel tank of this breakdown. The ZT Avenger also uses Hydro Gear ZT2800 transaxles, which are completely serviceable. The Bad Boy provides a two-year 200 hour warranty for residential use and the engine has a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Kawasaki, Kohler, and Briggs. The deck on the Bad Boy ZT Avenger is the thickest and heaviest built deck so far with a 7 gauge 3 16ths of an inch fabricated steel construction along with a reinforced leading edge and a heavy-duty fiber reinforced rubber chute. The Bad Boy deck height adjustment is is the nicest function of any of the brands in this comparison. With adjustment from 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches, the dial spins freely and smoothly and there are no pins to mess with. One of the best features of the ZT Avenger is the heavy duty 2 inch by 2 inch steel tube frame. The rear tires on the ZT Avenger are by far the widest of the mowers measuring 12 inches wide with a 20 inch diameter, which provides an excellent ride along with a wide and stable stance. The foot plate on the ZT Avenger flips up easily for access to the top of the deck along with the seat for easy access to the battery, drives, and engine. In either the Kohler or Kawasaki engine, the ZT Avenger is the lowest price mower in this comparison. The price being in the mid $4,000 range, with the heavy build all the way around, huge fuel tanks, huge tires, premium options like the deck dial, fuel gauge, and rubber floor mats, this makes the Bad Boy ZT Avenger the best value and quality of this breakdown so far. Ah, finally, we've come to the number one spot of our top five zero turn mowers for around $5,000 which is the Bad Boy ZT Elite. The ZT Elite is a residential zero turn mower built to a commercial spec, available in a 48 inch, 54 inch, and 60 inch cutting deck. The max forward speed of the ZT Elite is seven miles per hour. The fuel tank has a 6.5 gallon capacity, the largest fuel tank of this comparison so far, tied with the ZT Avenger. The ZT Elite uses Hydro Gear ZT3100 transaxles, which are completely serviceable and the only commercial grade transaxle in our lineup. Bad Boy provides a two-year, 200-hour warranty for residential use and the engine has a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Kawasaki, Kohler, and Briggs. The deck on the ZT Elite is a seven-gauge fabricated deck with reinforced edge, similar to the one on the ZT Avenger except slightly deeper and slightly more sturdy. Also, the deck dial adjustment system is very nice as well and has a cut height variability of 1.5 inches to 4.5 inches. The ZT Elite deck is by far the heaviest duty of any of the mowers and a big factor in why we ranked it number one. Aside from the heaviest build quality, the Bad Boy ZT Elite has the best frame using a 2 inch by 2 inch steel tube frame, like we saw on the Avenger. The ZT Elite takes it one step further with a fully independent front suspension, the tires on the ZT Elite are 11 inches wide with a 22 inch diameter. The ZT Elite has super easy access to all the major components, but it also has a much nicer adjustable seat with a lot of cushion and upholstered armrests. You get plenty of storage with a large cubby and cup holder. Although the ZT Elite is priced at a higher end of the mowers in this list, it is the heaviest build 
built with the largest fuel tank, large front and rear tires, independent front suspension, the ductile adjustment of course, and all the other stuff making it deserve the number one spot in this top 5 mower comparison. Tell us which mower you think is best in this comparison in the comments section below. Thank you for watching this video on the top 5 zero turn mowers for $5,000. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button to receive more content like this, tap the bell icon to stay notified, and until next time, have a wonderful day.